Hola, my friends, and how are you? I am in a most wonderful place today. So don't forget, we've got all these little cool little things going on. But help me help others, okay? So I'm asking you to do this. I want you to love this video. Comment where you're watching from. I like to know where we're, how far out we go. Uh, and then share this video. And then if you're the kind of person that does the little stars, I collect the little stars. So don't hesitate to give me some stars. Um, thumbs up, all those kind of cool groovy things. And um, then also, you know, what's really kind of cool is that I have this opportunity to talk about I have a couple of things coming up. Uh, I have an angel healer class, the 15th and 16th, I believe. It's um, Saturday and Sunday next weekend. Uh, so be a certified angel healer. Yay. Um, it's $200 for the class. And then there's also the week after that, I have Reiki First Degree, the CPR for the soul. So we got a couple of classes coming up. Don't forget to love this video, comment where you're watching from, and then share it. You know, it would be really cool if you could do that. I would love it. It helps me help other people. Um, otherwise, ah, okay, well, we got a bunch of cards that came out, so we're going to roll with these. But it helps me help others. Um, Facebook kind of charges a lot of money for me to boost these, but hang on, don't go away. All right, so, <clears throat> again, we are using the Spellcaster, or spell casting, not Spellcaster, Spellcasting. Uh, by Flavia Kate Peters and uh, Barbara Meikle John Free. Uh, cool little deck. I like this deck. Uh, they really try to come off um, all Wiccan. Um, but uh, no, they just got a really kind of cool, uh, natural kind of feel to them. So uh, without further ado, let's see this energy that's coming in. It has been nagging at me all day to do a reading so here we go and we're going to start with the energy coming in is reconciliation and uh, this means um, about things that making amends this is um, what I'm hearing uh, is making amends it's not so much about the agreements it's about the action of coming together. Uh, it is not about the agreements per se, but about the action of coming together. So finding some common ground. So that's the energy that's coming in. And, you know, we've got a mess of cards. So we know the second card is going to be our obstacle because we always have to have some kind of crappy obstacle here. And the obstacle that we're looking at is our lack of confidence. So we've got some negative self-talk going on. Um, uh, yeah, negative self-talk is what I'm hearing. Um, uh, not thinking that we can do, that we can be. Um, I look over here and this is, it kind of looks like, you know, eagle feathers per se, but, you know, uh, of a rainbow kind of way. Um, but... It's like this confidence, this strength, this courage. And then when we see it upside down, I'm just getting this like we're talking a lot of really negative self-talk in our head and allowing that to uh, kind of frame some of our connection in with things, if that makes, yeah. You know. And so it's like a lot of negative self-talk. We don't feel that we're going to be strong enough. However, um, so, you know, with every obstacle, we also have a help or a resolution. And, um, and, I, and it was funny because it's like, remember playing the game of tag? The game of tag has been on my mind for a couple of days. All right, so the game of tag, and I was like, and we were all, um, you know, like, so if you're playing tag, you're, you're running and you're trying to get to base or trying to get to home, and so um, that is how it is our help. We have something stable. We have something secure. 
We have our sanctuary. We have our sacred space. We have our place that we can retreat. And um, retreat isn't always about backing down. Retreat can also be a way that we come in and we love on ourselves. So we can retreat, like going to a spa or getting your nails done. Or dudes, what do you like doing, you know? Um, if dudes like to go do archery or, you know, um, go fishing, you know, whatever somebody likes to do to fill that time to bring a little pleasure to them, retreat can also mean that it doesn't always have to mean backing down it can mean giving some self-care some self-love taking care of self so when we look at that we're coming in with a um obstacle of feeling weak and vulnerable and some negative self-talk going on then it's a pretty cool auspicious concept to see that the home card is becomes our 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 help our assistant our resolution to all of the uh, changes and things going on around us that sometimes we don't feel we have a lot of control on all right so what are some of the other um career um whoa um Oh, okay. Um, all right. So we look at this and we see that the career card is upside down. Um, I'm not getting a totally negative. What I'm getting is another at least 90 degree turn in the way that we do things. And I'm, and I'm going to in, in our workplace. Okay. So things are going to be changing in the workplace but i'm going to say let's look at what are some of the obstacles we still have light there's not any obscurity there's still so that translucent um and uh, i was like i don't think you can really see the colors here they're not quite like um total rainbow but we have some rainbow around through here. So I'm getting, um, when I look at this card, the energy, the message that I'm getting here. Remember, I'm a Carl Jung girl. I read by Carl Jung standards. Um, the message that I'm getting here is that, once again, our industry, our work, our career, the way that we do things is going to flip a little bit. Um, I'm not getting a 180. I'm getting maybe a 90 degree turn. And we're going to start doing things again in a different manner in the way that we work, the way that we make our living, the way that we um, um, take care of ourselves, our needs, our work. Okay, so there's going to be a change to the environment and in the way that we work. Uh, and it will start to kind of roll out um, over this weekend. So I'm kind of like, whoa, that's some interesting information. Um, I like this because another focus in our um, outcome, um, you know, coming in through the, you know, starting in this weekend is um, we actually get a lot of peace. So there's a lot of balance. There's a lot of... Um, I'm getting this, uh, you know, it's kind of like there's a lot of wisdom that's coming in with that. And let's see if we can bring that just a little bit closer um, without totally blurring it out. Okay, and it looks like she's got light coming from her hand. She's very, um, you know, I, I want to say serious, but not in a negative kind of serious. It's uh, with great intention through there and then sharing that light. So she's showing us that light. So this is a card of wisdom, understanding, um, you know, that peace. Um, um, kind of like when you know the the outcome is with integrity um, and even if it's not the greatest of so resolutions or solutions you are at peace with it because it just has that sense of um, what I'm getting is justice or fairness you know 
I don't like to use the phrase, it is what it is, but this is about being able to accept that some things are outside of our control and have this sense of peace with it. Um, but I'm going to say in that sense of peace, it's not anything that owns us or holds us back. It's just like another piece of wisdom. Kind of um, play on wo words there. Uh, the ending card here is a little interesting because it's the dreams card. And you can see that it's upside down. And when, um, okay, all right, so it's kind of funny, I'm laughing now. Okay, so it's like, um, when we're little kids and we have dreams, um, and sometimes they can be like nightmares or night terrors, um, and then we wake up and we realize it was just a dream and it wasn't real per se. It wasn't happening like in the flesh. It was happening up here. Um, that's what the this card is kind of in reference to. It's in reference is that our dreams make it a little... Church it up. Our dreams church up. Our dreams church up the realities that we live in. And kind of make them a little bit more melodramatic so that we start to examine and look inside of this. So the message all through here is that we are kind of moving in this sense of um, we're getting ready to change the way that we live, to change the way that we experience things. Um, kind of coming back in together and making things, I'm going to say, a sense of a new. Um, the only really saving grace out of it is, is that you guys, you have your sanctuary. Because that um, anxiety and angst about change, especially when you start thinking about the way that we do our work or the way that we make our money, is kind of um, creates a difference um, in the way that we perceive our ability to be successful. Saving grace, you got your sacred space. Love your sacred space. And remember that when you're having your dreams or your nightmares, etc., that they're going to be churched up a little bit or a little bit more vibrant or extravagant than what the actual reality is. So sometimes that dragon that you think that's hidden behind the door is, you know, actually um, a bird chirping. I don't know. So peace, love, and harmony. Um, I will catch up with you all very soon. There's a very interesting vibration. Peace.